Hi creative friends, it's Elizabeth Sampson, the Doodle Nurse, and today we are going to create seven easy watercolor flowers for beginners. Now this is Doodle Art Flowers. So what you can see here, I've just put, like last week, water on the paper and let the watercolors, the pigment of the watercolors just bleed throughout the water that I placed on the paper. This was such a fun thing to create last week. So if you didn't see last week's video, when you're done with this one, click the link in the description box below. But make sure you stay through to the end of this one so you can see how this technique turns out with these doodle art flowers. So as I shake the paper here, you can see the wet watercolor flows down to the bottom and that is going to create the stem of the watercolor flower unlike last week where I painted it in this one I just let the gravity take over control of the water with the pigment in it these flowers are so whimsical and easy to create when you see the finished product um, you'll know what I'm talking about but there's several ways to do this. You, there's several tutorials out here on how you want to create. This is just my way to do it. I think it's something very simple and easy for a beginner to do. And um, again, as you can see, I'm placing another color on top of the color I have. Um, blue and purple together. You just have to be careful not to put too many colors on top because you can muddy the look and appearance in your watercolors. The gold I put on was just that, the same color that I used earlier. I was just darkening it up a little bit. Now, I have a paper towel here where I'm dabbing where it's a little bit wetter than I want it to be. So just make sure you have a paper towel on hand. So we're going to create seven flowers. You don't want to create one on top of the other. So as you see, I have three main flowers and I'm going to have four smaller flowers. I just want to use this new palette of koi watercolor flowers that I have. I told you last week that I just got this uh, beautiful pan set of the koi watercolor flowers. There is a link in the description below of what I used. It is an affiliate link, so if you do purchase it, I do get a small commission for it. Very small commission, but um, it's, it doesn't affect you at all. It's just something that they send me. So it won't add to the cost of you buying it through that link. So anyways, um, I love this palette so far that I'm using with this. Um, it has the pearl colors and it has the fluorescent ones and I'm still working with the pearl colors as you can see uh, this is a yellow and I left there's a glare but I left it there so you could see exactly how much water I put on the paper um, I thought that was a little helpful and and this flower I have to add a little bit more water because it wouldn't run down when I tipped it up. So here we go. You can see how that runs down there. I have that paper towel to protect the other pages in the book. So we're going to go off to the water resistant marker and it's a fine line marker. Here is where doodling begins. So I'm just outlining what has put on the paper already. So there's a variation in color so I make sure to make note of that with the black marker and I just put where the variation in color is. Nothing is flawless nothing is um, straight everything's jagged and it's I'm just following where the paint went so this is the aspect where we call the intuitive aspect of painting it just flowed onto the paper and it took its own shape I didn't manipulate it to create its a shape I made it take its own shape and so that is the intuitive aspect now, as you see these cute little animals floating in on the upper left-hand side of the screen, those I have created with watercolor pencils, and you can catch those videos in the description box below if you'd like to see those being created. 
but right now we're working on flowers and so you can see how each shape of these flowers turned out there's no two that are alike which is one thing that I really love so now I'm going to add water to where I want the stems to be just adding a little bit of water I will add in my pearl green paint different shades and it will just flow through now I made sure that everything was dry before I started this process because otherwise it would really would have turned out muddy color so you can see how I'm doing this on each and every flower and the stems will turn out a different color for each flower which is another thing that I like I like how it shapes itself I with the water which leads this is what I love about intuitive painting um, you really don't have a plan you just go with it now obviously I'm telling you they're flowers I didn't know what they were gonna be when I started <laughs> could have been balloons for all I knew but I just thought wow this looks really cool so um, we made them into flowers and that is what I'm calling them so we're almost done with putting our stems on and um, just now if you want to recreate this it's so simple to do this is for beginners it's step by step um, I wouldn't be doing it if it was something that was too hard to do um, because I'm teaching you that you can do this anybody can do this you don't have to be a master at painting to create whimsical little shapes like this if you wanted to create a masterpiece then all by all means you have to be a full-fledged artist to do that but this is for anybody that wants to learn how to create something whimsical that they can give to somebody else now as you can see I went ahead without recording this but I'm just putting the background on I have the Sun the clouds a little bit of grass nothing too uh, fabulous but you'll see why I did this because now it's doodle time grab your fine line marker everything is dried make sure everything is dried before you begin and now I'm just gonna start doodling on these little flowers so if you like this give it a thumbs up comment and share share this out to your friends or anybody that you think would be interested in easily creating these watercolor flowers and I'm just putting doodle patterns within each flower this is where I shine I love to doodle so um, I don't think really about what's going in it. I'm going to use the shape of the flower and how it came out to decide what is going to go inside of that flower. So if you're doing this, by all means, put whatever you want in your flowers. Um, it doesn't have to make sense. Just do it. That's the whimsical part of it. And that's kind of what makes this a fun process. No two flowers are going to be the same. They're all going to be different, have a variety of different things in them. Just don't think about it. Just put the pen on the paper and let something flow out and let it be your own creation. So you can see on that flower, I use the points. I use the points to decide what's going to go in that flower. And we're making just a bunch of triangles. Um, never seen a flower like that before I'm not sure one exists <laughs> but in my mind it doesn't matter so I'm outlining some cloud areas here with a blue paint went on funny shapes and um, making those darker areas into clouds and I think um, I think it adds to the whimsy I don't know you know clouds are funny looking so I think that just adds to the whimsical part. So guys, if you're liking this comment, please give it a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. If you're not subscribed to this channel and you'd like to learn how to draw, doodle, and letter, then by all means, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Um, that will help me uh, gain followers here and subscribers if it's a content that you appreciate and enjoy. And so we're going to do Zentangles in this flower. 
so they're little triangles and we're doing zentangles if you want to see how to do this you can click on the link in the description box below on my tutorial for zentangles for beginners um, i'll be doing more zentangle videos in the future um, all for beginners nothing too elaborate so um, make sure you click on that video zentangling is uh, something that's fun to do you don't have to think about the process you just do it so you'll see how this flower turns out when this zentangle pattern is complete i think it looks really pretty everything that i create on this channel you can see on products and merchandise below or you can go over to my website elizabethsampson.com and just click on um, i actually go to Elizabeth Sampson dot com forward slash links and you'll be able to get to all my stores at this time i'm going to try and mainstream where they can be but you can find them on coffee mugs and in the future they're going to be on stickers and household products and everything um, so yeah i do get a small commission off the merchandise it's not a lot of commission it's probably two three percent but still even then it's um something that i would love to give to everybody because i think that um it'll bring a smile to your face especially on a coffee mug in the morning <laughs> but if you want to put this on cards or stationery it really really looks pretty and i have a few different stores that i have different products on so by all means check out that link in the description box below make sure to comment let me know what else you want to see on this channel as far as watercolors doodle letter doodles letters and um drawing because um, i would love to teach you how to go about creating whimsical art that anyone can so here i'm just wrapping a vine around each stem of the flower and showing it behind and in front of the each of these stems something different something a little bit more whimsical something that i do love so these seven easy watercolor flowers are definitely for beginners um, you can see that it didn't take much to create these you can do that with watercolors if you want to draw them on your paper and use watercolor pencils by all means you can do that um, but I have moved off to these koi watercolor paints which I do love and you can um, use anything that you want to do with it if you want to use markers go ahead draw them on and use markers whatever medium is your choice and whatever you have available to you is what you can use i hope you can see how easy this process is to create remember it's relaxation and mindfulness and just listening to your intuition that will create a piece that's meant for you and um, anybody else who resonates with that know it was meant for them as well i teach you all about intuitive doodling in a class i have and um, just teaching you how to create with not a thought in mind but when you're done you end up reading a doodle because there's so many messages in it and when i get done with this i probably will read this because there are a lot of messages in these doodles now if you don't understand what i'm talking about you can always go over to my website read the description on the class and it will tell you exactly what i'm talking about i will have more upcoming uh, videos telling you a little bit more about the art of intuitive doodling class um, but do, do know that I do have one available for you and teaching you how to create art intuitively and um, not to have to think about the process, which adds to the healing aspects of doodling and drawing and lettering. So here is my seven completed uh, video are seven completed watercolor flowers if you like them please subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up and by all means check out these other videos this is last week's uh, video for watercolor flowers but i'd love to see you in the other ones so thanks guys for 
checking out this video.